What's going on guys? It's your boy Brando and today I want to talk to you guys about the patch that came out for Black Ops 3. It is patch 1.23 and there's many updates for uh, both the PlayStation and Xbox One. Uh, they added different things for uh, zombies and multiplayer as well. It seems like they fixed a lot of glitches and stability problems too. But Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button. Please share it with your friends. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification button so you guys never miss an upload. And you can always stay up to date on anything COD related. A.K.A. Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, or any upcoming World War II Call of Duty game. So, Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. And I'll talk to you guys about what was fixed in the patch today. So the first thing that was fixed in today's patch was listed on Activision support uh, on their support page and is listed under global and they pretty much put general stability improvement. So that's not really telling us much. That's just saying certain things were fixed. We're not going to tell you what it is. It was about one and a half gigabyte update. So they definitely put some time into it. I mean there wasn't much to it if it's only one and a half gigs. But it was definitely meaningful. So the next part was on multiplayer. They said they added measures to address exploitive third-party peripherals. Now, in my experience, that has to deal with the glitter mods that people are using. Especially the one with the brekkie. If you guys notice, over the weekend during Double XP, Double Weapon XP, and Nuketown playlist, if you guys were playing in those playlists, you could notice that there was a lot of people using the brekkie. And they were just spamming, it looked like they were spamming the trigger, but they weren't. They're definitely using different kind of mods, maybe modded controllers or whatnot. But that Brecky was going off like it was an automatic machine gun. It was ridiculous. It was OP and you couldn't use it. So in my experience, I think this is one of the fixes that they fix, especially with uh, adding measures to address these third-party exploitives. Now the best part of this update has to do with zombies. Uh, there were some general issues that they fixed. Uh, some of those include uh, fixing an issue where incorrect voiceover lines were playing during various levels. I'm not sure which ones those were, those were, but obviously they are now fixed. So if you guys noticed them, now you will know the difference. Okay, they also fixed an issue where all players would hear the glial firing audio regardless of their distance from the shooter. Now I think I experienced this too. I thought maybe it was in my sound settings, but this was obviously in the game and there was something wrong with it. So. I'm glad to know that because I could end up hearing someone shooting a glill clear across the map and it was pretty loud. Uh, they also fixed an issue that would cause the fire cell audio to play too loud. I noticed that too. I thought that was just me, but I'm glad because that could be overpowering at times. Uh, the Thunder Gun will now grant players XP. I don't think I ever noticed it before when you're killing zombies with the Thunder Gun that we weren't getting XP, but I'm glad to know that it's fixed. Uh, they also fixed an issue with time attacks not working properly. They fixed the crash that occurred while using the eye candy gobble gum. I never experienced any of those. Uh, they fixed a bug that occurred while using the idle eyes gobble gum before a host migration. I never noticed that either, but it's good to know that I was fixed. Uh, let's see, they also fixed a bug that occurred when using the idle eyes. Oh, I already said that one before. They fixed various collision and pathing issues. Uh, hopefully that's just for uh, zombies. Uh, hopefully they made it easier on different maps. I don't know about the collision issues, but it's good to know that fix. Now they also uh, list other maps where they did various things to them. And the first thing that they fixed was on Origins. Uh, they fixed v various elemental uh, staff bugs. I haven't been using the staffs much on Origins. You guys can tell that I haven't really played it that much because I don't have that many videos of it up. But it's good to know that's fixed. They fixed the uh, Panzer pathing issues and bugs. So if you guys have been having issues with the Panzer, now it should be better and easier to fight him, hopefully. Uh, different ways to get away from him too as well. Uh, they also optimized streamer performance in the map. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that has to deal with live streaming and Origins. I'm not sure. Uh, some fixes that they did in Kino, they fixed an issue where players were being targeted by zombies immediately after teleporting. Now I experienced this a lot. If I went into a public lobby, a lot of people wanted to sh uh, pile their zombies up in the uh, lobby area there in the spawn. 
and you would go to pack a punch and come back and immediately get down because all the zombies were right there. So hopefully that alleviates this problem. That way when you go pack a punch and you come back, you'll be good to go and you don't have to worry about zombies destroying you. Uh, there was also an issue where players would experience a black screen while teleporting. They apparently fixed this issue. Uh, that's all they list for Kino. The next set they talk about is Shangri-La. They fixed an issue where players would lose their primary weapon after picking up the symbol monkey. I never experienced that, but that's good to know. Uh, they also fixed an issue where wall buys could lose functionality. I never never really did wall buys, but it's good to know that it's fixed. In Shino Numa, they fixed an issue where flogger kills were not counting do towards daily trap challenges. I don't think I'd ever go to Shino Numa just to use the traps, especially the flogger. But that's good to know that it's fixed. Uh, there were some issues on Moon that they fixed, and they include a fixing a bug that would cause a connection interrupted error when deploying the QED. I don't think I ever use the QED that much, so it's good to know that it's fixed. Uh, they also fixed a host migration crash. I, I, I experienced a lot of crashes and host migrations on various maps. I don't think I really experienced it on Moon. Of course, I haven't played the Moon in a while either, so it's good to know that it's fixed. And they also fixed the Widow's Wine exploit. I'm not sure what that exploit was, but I'm glad to know that it is fixed. Definitely don't like glitches or any exploits. Uh, the last map they list uh, for various bugs and fixes was Ascension. Uh, they fixed various Gersh device bugs. I'm not sure what bugs there were for a Gersh, but I'm glad that they fixed it. And the last one was Address Collision Exploits. Not exactly sure what they're talking about here, but it's good to know that they were definitely fixing that. And now we don't have to deal with it. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give this video a like. Please smash that like button as many times as you can. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Definitely hit that notification button so you never miss an upload for yours truly. All right, guys. Until the next video, I'll see you later.